So what's up guys, it's Harsha from Gaming Entertainment, hope you're doing well and so fine. So in this video, I'm gonna start a new series from this video, so it's named as GN, that is Gaming News. It's a daily gaming news, so it's uh, best to be called as GND, Gaming News Daily or Gaming Day News or Daily Gaming News, which way you want, you can call it and I self, myself calling it as Daily Gaming News. So yeah, I'll keep, update, I'll keep updating you with the latest gaming news which is uh, revolving on the net or which is coming from the developers itself. So please make to subscribe my channel and get yourself updated. So yeah, let's start the gaming daily gaming news episode 1. So the first big news coming from the God of War itself. So it, it's been told that the God of War hardest difficulties will be named as Gumi God of War. So in this difficulty, the developers turned the game totally, uh, the moves of the drawbacks are everything, the enemies which is reworked uh, to give the maximum experience for the players. Uh, if you are a pro in God of War, in playing God of War, uh, complete all the difficulties in the previous God of War game, so you will have to go through this uh, because the developers made some new moves and bringing the game to, you know, uh, interesting level. In, uh, Whichever the demo uh, they have shown, I don't know on which difficulty they are playing, but what according to Cory Barlow, uh, this game, this difficulty will be the highest difficulty ever seen in the God of War game, and yeah, it will give you chills when you play it. Uh, that's what said by the God of uh, God of War director Cory Barlow, and I was so fascinated about the game, and I'm very happy that every gaming uh, channel and uh, game reviewers are saying about the 2.5 hours gameplay that they have played and they are giving a very positive information regarding the game uh, they didn't give any spoilers still uh, not looking for spoilers too but whatever they said is totally you know uh, my heart is pounding for the game you know it's beating just for the goal for I can say uh, everyone is saying that the game is absolutely beautiful it's emotional it's you know uh, more like the last of us and the dark souls brought together so I didn't play last of us this is uh, I don't know why I didn't play Last of Us because I'm not interested in playing that. Uh, I always love to play God of War games, uh, God of War games, action games. So, yeah. Uh, very interested for the God of War and lots of positive talk coming is one of the best when you, uh, if you're a hardcore God of War fan like me. Uh, so, yeah, God of War is going to be lit. So, the next big news coming from the PUBG. Uh, PUBG? PUBG? No, it's a PUBG, it's a game. Okay, alright, I thought it's a. Dancing pub in G. No, it's a PUBG man. Though so, PUBG is now alive on the Android and iOS. I should I tested it on Android, but it that didn't install it. Downloaded though, but it didn't install. So I need to check in Android, uh, iOS now. So uh, it take a lot. It will take some time for me to test it. Uh, I think the minimum required version is if you are playing it on Android, then you do, you need to have more than two gigabytes of RAM. Don't know which uh, processor they mentioned. Uh, they didn't give any anything about the processor here, but on iOS you need to have an Apple Six, uh, Apple Six Apple Sixes uh, that will run the game well, and yeah, you have the Battle Royale which is available for PC. So this ga this version of game is a total uh, remake, or I can say it's a total copy of the PC version. Everything will be fine and everything will be same as the PC version. And you got lots of lots of controls and customizations to be made on your screen itself. Uh, you got a pedal uh, pedal button. You can just steer your car on the screen itself. So it's a very good option if you ask me. And PUBG is gonna rock, man, on mobiles. And as Fortnite Fortnite came on to the iOS, I think yeah, it's it came on iOS, and lots of people are playing it too. Uh, both of the games are too good and Fortnite, if you ask me the Fortnite is somewhat smoother than the PUBG, I don't know uh, how do you feel about it, but I feel that the Fortnite is the smoothest in these two because got some of those uh, cartoon like graphics and I, log, and I like them, there is no saying that I don't like them, I like them very much, so it depends on how you play it and how you feel it, so mention in the comment section down below what do you think about the PUBG coming. So make sure you download the PUBG game, I, in Android it's about, uh, I got it at around 500 megabytes I think, so it's not a big game, but if you have Wi-Fi you can download it in Zoof. Uh, and let your experience go through a PUBG and share your experience in the comment section down below. If you are using an NVS graphic card, so th probably this may be the good news for you, so GeForce Je uh, India just wants a new game uh, game ready driver, so it's called as the 391.2 core. So the earlier version is 391.01. So just launched today. So go through and check it out. I think you got a notification already. So just download it and install it and see your games rock on it. 
uh, tons of optimizations for the sea of thieves and pure farm in 2018 q2 and source battlefront 2 uh, getting the updates and optimizations that they will play well on from now so how well need to check and support for the nvidia highlights in call of duty world war 2 and games mentioned here just as like the fortnite uh, it will record the highlights of your gameplay uh, like when you died and when you kill someone like just like the 2k18 or wlb 2k series so go and download it uh, i just downloaded it and I just need to install so mention if i, I don't have the sea of thieves and pure farming 2018 on any of the games uh, so mention in the comment section down below if you have these games and mention if there are any differences you notice in optimizations like frame rate been better or something like that. The next news coming for the PC gamers here. Uh, the game, uh, the company called Asrock is introducing the first graphic cards into the market, uh, GPU market. It's uh, called as the Phantom Gaming Graphic Cards. So yeah i'm totally excited for this uh, i watched the video on youtube it's not uh in the, they didn't show any of the cards they are uh, still making i mean they are developing uh, taking the chips from the nvidia or amd something like that but they did not use anything they just said that it's fast it's unpredictable and it's mysterious so let's see what they are cooking and adding some bunch of coolers i mean the custom cool cooler fans and adding some software uh, to overclock it it will always better for the graphics especially for the pc owners if you want to overclock if you want to play a game well uh what can i say pc gamers always rock man as you can see my pc here uh, <laughs> i uh, rgb lighting it's so lit uh okay uh, so the next big news is from the as rock so yeah i think what about the PC gamers are you thinking? So mention the comments section down below. I'm thinking that going to be total late because they are going to introduce their first graphic cards. So yeah, these all the third party graphic cards are are always awesome, man. If you ask me, uh, they gonna you know we can keep everything in our hand, but we need to pay it. If for a console gamer, then you need to worry about this. There's a lot of rumor regarding the PS5, but I don't think they are real. Uh, as the executives of the PlayStation has confirmed that they are not going to release any PlayStation 5, they don't have any plans regarding the PlayStation 5 in 2018. But there are lots of rumors going on on the internet, uh, circling throughout the internet that this going, they are going to showcase the PS5 in 2018. I don't think so. Uh, if they need to, I think they would. But if they don't want to, they don't want to because PS5 is going to come for sure, but not in 2018, if you ask me. And there is also saying that the last of us, the last of us two, and next FIFA game, and next Call of Duty game, and this training, uh, they are all gonna skip for the, this generation and get to the next gen consoles. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. And what do you think? Mention in the comment section down below if you're a, a console gamer and probably gonna uh, research on this, right? So yeah, I don't think this is gonna happen because uh, uh, don't know, man. Why would Sony do this? Uh, just they launched the PS4 Pro, which is enough capable of uh, doing the generations of the gaming, right? Uh, at least the three generations from here. Uh, I mean, the three years from here, uh, they're gonna do good with those console, and they don't need more than this. So yeah, Sony got some good exclusives, and they are doing well with it. So why would Sony would release a console in 2018, right? So mention in the comment section down below what do you think about the PlayStation 5 is it coming in 2018 or are they gonna show 2018 are they gonna show it in 2018 or are they gonna launch it in somewhere around 2020 uh, my expectation is gonna release in 2021 uh, who knows E3 is gonna hail on 12 to 14 this June uh, 2018 so I'm very excited for the E3 this year and I'm gonna do lots of videos like this so please make sure to subscribe my channel so this is it for today news I uh, hope you liked it. I'm not gonna bring lots of news today because this is the first news, so let it be simple and let it be raw. Uh, hope you like this video and give a like if you like this and hit the like button and make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna bring lots of stuff like this and go I'm gonna update you daily with the gaming news like this. Uh, hope you like hope you like it and not so mention in the comment section down below what do you think about this uh, daily gaming news so this is the end of the first episode of the gaming news daily gaming news so hope you liked it make sure to subscribe and give a like so it'll help me to do lots of videos like this and yeah i'm really excited for the god of war if you are too excited for the god of war then do mention in the comment section down below and let's have a good interaction with us so yeah we are getting closer to the 100 subscribers and i'm really excited for that okay so this is it for today and meet you tomorrow in my next video bye